Hey guys! Hey guys! We're back with another Preacher review, this time reviewing Preacher Season 1, Episode 6, titled Sundowner. If you haven't seen it yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, skip this video and come back later because everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. Okay, I would say this is easily my favorite episode of the season. <laughs> This is a really good episode. Yeah. The, the opening sequence when Jesse's fighting the <laughs> angels was brutal and hilarious. Yeah. That, oh my god. And you just see the bodies piling up and they just keep getting <laughs> deeper in Because bodies. they keep reviving yeah. and coming back and, and dying again. And it's like all the angels die over and over again and Jesse escapes with a few scrapes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also really like this kind of pseudo friendship that Tulip and Emily are, have just started to build. Like Tulip b basically barges into Emily's house and chucks uh, Emily's daughter's art thing against the wall. Like stay away from my boyfriend and then leaves. But doesn't. <laughs> and then Emily confronts her out by the car and they come in and they kind of make nice. Which yeah. I like the dynamic between those two. I hope we get more of that. Yeah, me too. Like their um, friendship is really interesting. And it's, it's kind of funny because Tulip is this total hard ass and Emily is so sweet. Yeah. So j just the, the dynamic between those two very contrasting characters is fun. Yeah, it is. And finally, in this episode, I want to talk really quick about Eugene. Yeah. Did Jesse actually damn him to hell by telling him to go to hell with the yeah. Genesis power? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Yeah, I know. Poor Eugene. Or did, you know, Jesse say, go to hell, and like there's a town called hell, and mm -hmm. Eugene just sprinted out the door to it. Like, it sure seemed like he disappeared and got yeah. sucked in the, to the void of the underground, it, um, you know, underworld. underworld. Yeah, yeah. It, that's what it definitely seems like, which yeah. makes me think that might not be what it is. I don't know. <laughs> There's so many different things that they can do in this show using the Genesis power. Yeah. Like, the, the command isn't generally what exactly happens. Like, for instance, in last episode, when Jesse commanded Odin to serve God, and then Odin executed a bunch of people who work for this uh, Green, Acres. Green Acres Society organization thing. Which, oh my gosh, what, how that is going to shake out, because the mayor is in a total pickle now. Yeah, yeah. It does look like they've covered it up. So I imagine him and Odin, uh, the mayor and Odin, covered it up, and he's going along with it. Yeah. But... Man. <laughs> As the, the, the highway patrol, the sheriff's office, whoever, called the mayor out to the wreck, the burned out wreck. So I imagine Odin was behind the wreck and covering up the bodies and everything, and the mayor is just kind of going along with it. Because I don't see the mayor orchestrating that. No, he doesn't seem like he'd be smart enough to pull that off. Yeah, smart enough. Odin does, though. Yeah, smart enough or brazen enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and back to uh, Eugene for just a second. His whole story had me worried about him the entire time. Yeah. Like when somebody said hi to him, I was like, oh God, what are they going to do to him? And it, then they sat down at lunch. Into the, the yes. underground uh, tube. I was oh, so worried God. about him the whole episode. It was like this foreshadowing to him going to hell at the end. It's, well, it, it, they, they, they brought him down to this. It's just like a sewer pipe or yeah, tube or like whatever. Yeah, it's like a drainage pipe. Yeah. And I thought, oh my gosh, you're going to beat him up. And I was just dreading that because he's. The, easily the most sympathetic character in, in the show and in the comics. And you just feel for him. And I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, I don't want him to get beat up. He's been through so much some, you know, already. And so then the fact that he, he comes to Jesse and he's like, I don't want to be forgiven. I don't think God would like this. And that is a really interesting thing to say because... I mean, supposedly God is all about forgiveness. Yeah. So the fact that Eugene doesn't want to be forgiven and he thinks God would be against him being forgiven is a really interesting mindset. Yeah. And just Eugene and Jesse, their conversation, it's, it's kind of showing how Jesse's, this power has kind of gotten control of Jesse and like he's not really fully in control of what he's doing anymore. The power's gotten to him. Um, because Eugene's saying like it's cheating. Like, you shouldn't be able to just tell them that you should have a choice. Mm -hmm. um, and he's like, I'm choosing for them. It's just, it, 
it hints at the story to come. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's, it's all the Genesis power. And we find out what exactly that is. It's during, like, the, the you know, eternity war between heaven and hell. Some a An angel and a demon fell in love and had a child, and Genesis is the child. Yes. And so is, is Jesse kind of almost possessed by this angel-demon hybrid? Or I mean, what exactly is Genesis other than being the product of this, you know, kind of unholy union? Yeah. We've read the comics, not all of them. We're only like four or five volumes into the comics, volumes being the, the trade paperbacks. So we haven't gotten so far in the comic where we've got this information yet. So we're kind of learning a little bit as well as we're watching it. Yeah. Like where we are in the comics... Uh, Eugene has not been damned to hell, so I don't know if that's unique to the show. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling that it probably is, because the show has taken a lot of liberties um, as far as the story goes, which is great. Yes, it's yeah. It's so good. The, the changes that they have made, yeah. yeah. The changes they have made have been great changes. Not necessarily better than the comic, but just as good. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's it for this video. If you have anything to add, let us know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this review, and we really hope you did, be sure to tell us by dropping a like on it and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.